Hello, welcome to the realm of unpopular opinions. It is day six. I am starting this off very late in the day because I've been not in the mood. Like this hit me on the worst possible week because the first two days it was fine. It was good. Then came the whole college debacle where I didn't sleep and I had to enroll, which was extremely fun. And then the weather sucks. It's been stormy for a couple of days. The pressure's been enormous, so I've been having constant headaches. And I've been feeling like shit not being able to go out, and these days just haven't been the best. So this is definitely putting a rump in my reading rush. But that's besides the point. So I'm going to tell you now what I plan for the rest of the day and tomorrow. And let's hope I succeed because right now even thinking gives me a larger headache. So best of luck to me. Yeah, I think I have three more challenges to complete. I swapped out Dampier Volume 30 for the different continent one because I can't. There's too many prompts that I have to finish. So if I can fill some out with the books that I already have read, I will. So the one that I still have to complete are starts with the, which is the Gospel of Loki, which hopefully I can finish today and tomorrow. I mean, I have like 200-ish pages left. So if I read a bit today and a bit tomorrow, that should be finished. Then we have genre you want more. You want to read more of. I'm not sure what to do with that one. <laughs> I'm really not sure. I mean, I could use graphic novels and comics again because I don't read that many comics. It might seem like I do, but I really do wish that I read more. That would sort of be a cop out a little bit. And then I have birthstone color which I'm struggling with. I'm really struggling with that one. Uh, with that one. So I'm gonna see if there's anything <laughs> with diamonds on one of the comics because that would really help me. Something that I can read quickly. But yeah, I'm not sure because Glass Sword is pretty long. Even if I skim it, I think it's going to be very tedious to read that. I don't want to just fly through Last Name Sorrow because I want to cherish that. So we're definitely completing Gospel of Loki and I'm going to do something for genre you want to read more of. I'm going to sort of fake out that one. Or I might... No, but there's a book that I've been wanting to read for the Nostalgia-thon, which I will also take part in, but I'm not sure if I want to use it here. I'm gonna think of something. I'm gonna think of something for this. But I'm having problems with the birthstone color prompt, but we'll see. Maybe I won't even complete all of them. I mean, do I look like I care at this point? I'm tired and I'm I have a headache and I feel like shit. So I'm pretty pretty much cool if I don't even complete all the prompts, but I'm gonna try and sort of get some wiggle room and do something that's gonna make me complete them. Ooh! I just got an idea. I could read that, actually. Let me go get it, so we'll see if it fits the prompt. Here I am with some lovely workarounds, because, I mean, who am I if I'm going to stick to my entire TPR? Be adept. So, here's the plan. I could use this for genre you want to read more of, because this can technically go under comedy, if needed. I also have this, which was supposed to have a diamond on the cover, but I love these. I read them a lot when I was younger, and I haven't reread them in a while, so I would like to. And there's a diamond inside. I mean, it's not technically a diamond, but. Like, the whole story revolves around a crystal, so it could work. And it also has a lot of covers, colors. I hate when you almost sneeze. It has a lot of colors and white on the cover, and it revolves around a gem. This is the best I can do for birthstone color, because, I mean, diamond technically refracts all the other colors, so... So, this could actually work. I'm sort of cheating, but, I mean, 
I want to read it anyway, and let me see if I can find a diamond. <laughs> there. It's clear. There. It is clear, and I can use it, so I might use this for birthstone color, and I might just read a couple more volumes, so I might find one that has a diamond on the cover. I love this comic a lot. And for... Also for the genre I want to read more of, I've got that, which I bought recently. Short stories, I mean Penny Dreadfuls, which is creepy stories. I definitely want to read more creepy stories, and this is Victorian stories. So that's awesome. And they all start with the, so I might, if I don't finish Gospel book, I can use them. Here, we have The Adventure of the German Student by Washington Irving, Irving which is literally like five pages long. So it can work. This is like a gold mine when I buy compendiums. This is a gold mine, and I can't believe I didn't think of this earlier. So, we will complete all the challenges, but we might have to cheat a little to get there. Which is sort of, to be honest, in the spirit of our beautiful Loki trickster god. So this is technically an homage to him. We're going to cheat our way to the top. <laughs> Although technically not, because I am following the rules. I'm just bending them a little bit. And I'm being mean, because I'm not reading big books, but... Here we go. This book will be my salvation. So yeah, that is what I will be reading. I will definitely let you know what I'm actually going to be reading once I pick it up. And yeah, that is that. So I'm probably going to also do my bullet journal spread for August today because it's the end of the month and it's always a little bit fun to do while I play all the vlogs that I've missed. And then I'm going to read, I'm going to let you know what, I'm going to drink my cup of tea, and that is it. Let's just kick this weekend's ass and win the reading, reading rush. So, And then I have a little bit of a break before Nostalgia Fun. Oh, also, my parents are going out. When they leave, I'm going to do the Racing to Read book tag. I think I'm going to put it in this video because I don't want to make a separate video for it. So look forward to that and hopefully this day will be a lot more productive than the last couple of them so yeah Ooh, wow the lighting dropped <laughs> just okay did I switch shirts just to do the tag yes I did I have no idea why it's so dark all of a sudden like let me see if I can adjust it no no that's just worse Anyway, let's hope that this is satisfactory. But, I changed rooms and shirts just to do the racing to read rush, reading rush tech. Anywho, I will not be rambling anymore. Let's just get into the tag. There, my hair is down. Now we can get into the tag. So, first question, a book that stretches your mind. Now, I took this question sort of in my own way I'm not sure how the hell you're supposed to take this but for this I'm gonna say Earthsea Wizard of Earthsea or any other book but yeah this I am gonna take that as stretches your mind because it takes you a while to actually get used to her world and writing and scope it, I sort of had to get my bearings in the first book so it really did stretch my mind I thought I hated it, but as soon as I stretched my mind a little bit and got into the world, I adored it and became one of my favorite books of all time. So I'm going to take this as stretches your mind because you're really going to... It's going to require you to pay attention and not just like casually read it. You actually have to get into it to love it or you're going to hate it and be very bored and feel like your brain is being raped <laughs> a little bit in the beginning, me at least, because it was... I had to get used to the writing style and her pace and things that she focuses on were a little boring until I forced myself to get into them. So this is going to go for stretch my mind, I guess. So prompt number two is a book that you started but never finished. <laughs> so this is going to be Hall of Fame. Let me just get the book. It is this one. Read it in like two vlogs ago, I think. And... It sucks. I think my bookmark is still in there. Yeah, I read like 100 pages. I don't think I'm ever going to force myself again to pick this up. I don't think I am. It just sucks. 
it's written like fan fiction. I feel like someone just published a Wattpad book. The ideas are weak. The writing is weak. The characters suck. I don't know. I got this as a birthday present. That's why I was kind enough to actually read this much, but I don't think I'm ever going to pick that up again. And the other book I will actually pick up again. Oh, sorry. Let me just... There. And that is... Red Seas Under Red Skies by Scott Lynch. I picked this up. I don't want to know when. A long time ago. A long time ago. I think it was October of 2019. So yes. Picked it up. Never finished it. Exactly 50 pages in. I will finish this. Actually very soon. I hope to finish this trilogy and actually see if it's worth anything. So this one I actually will finish, but it's been sitting on my shelf. Not for a year, but very soon it's going to be a year, so <laughs> like 10 months, nine. Anywho, yes, this one. A little bit ashamed, but I really wasn't in the mood for it. The next one is the book that you read quickly. I'm going to just try and turn this light on because is that better? I don't think that's better. <laughs> This just makes me look creepy. Anywho. Book that I read quickly. I mean, obviously, I had to go with this, but I don't want to repeat this too many times. Yeah, I read it quickly. Couldn't put it down once I started reading it, but just so I don't repeat myself too much. <laughs> I'm going to get books that I've actually never talked about here, even though she is one of my favorite authors. Oh, my camera refuses to cooperate with me today. So that is just terrific. I hate this lighting. I hate it. How do people even record videos without the ring light that is expensive? Yeah, two books that I've actually never mentioned on my channel. I mean, I did, but I've never talked about them for good reason. You're not even going to see them. Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. Yeah, these I read very quickly. I think I read both of them in a day, and they're very long. So, yeah, that tells you everything. I read both of them in a day. This one, which is not going to show up on this lighting. This one I read in like, I'm not sure how much, I, I was going to say how many hours, but this one I remember. I was reading it for like 10 and a half hours, all day un until like half past 3 a.m. So I read them very, very quickly. We all know I hated it. I hated it because I read this entire thing in one day. Hated it. Despised it absolutely hated it gave it one star this one I didn't hate that much it was a three I also read it very very quickly so I thought I would mention them because I don't think you're gonna hear me talk about them in any other context so that's that for six of crows and next one is gonna be kind of funny so favorite long book are you ready for this <laughs> Death Note. I mean, I talked about this edition in my favorite books video, but look at it. It is 2,400 pages. So this is my favorite long book. I did read the entirety of it and I adore it. So it is one book. It is the longest that exists in my house and I loved it. Five stars, one of my absolute favorites. So this counts. <laughs> I think I had another one in mind. Right. I wrote down Lord of Chaos, which is book six in Wheel of Time. It's, I think, the longest of the series. I think Memory of Light might be also long, but I didn't bring Lord of Chaos, so we're just going to have to sell for this one for now. Yes, absolutely adored it. It was the best. This is worse. How is this worse? It's just lighting refuses to cooperate with me today. You're just gonna have to settle for this. I'm sorry, I have no idea what to do. I mean, it's actually very bright in this room. I hate this. Anywho, right. Book that had ups and downs. That one is also one that I've never actually brought out yet on my channel. That is Strange the Dreamer, if you would see it. There it is. <laughs> this book's had a lot of ups and downs. 
I really loved the first half. It was a lot of ups. I was like, oh great, one of my favorite books of all time. Second half, a lot of downs. It sucked. <laughs> Without the romance, this might have been one of my favorite books of all time, but it ruined it. It really ruined it. Let's not even talk about book two, but this one definitely had ups and downs. <laughs> A lot of ups and a lot of downs. The second book was just downs. <laughs> so yeah, this one for sure came to mind when I read this prompt. <laughs> and the next one was the book I was proud to finish. For that, I'm going to have to go with Lord of the Rings because, not because it was difficult to finish, but because I was very happy that I was finally making myself read it after like 19 years. <laughs> because I've been a fan of this world all my life and it took me this long to read it, so I was very proud that I finished it. And another one that was difficult to read was this one, which I have a whole vlog for. I was very, very proud that I finished this because I wanted to end it for so long. It's a long ass book, so I wanted it to be over. <laughs> and I'm very proud that I actually managed to finish it. Ooh, it's falling out of the dust jacket. I tabbed it like hell and I'm very happy that I actually managed to complete this beast. I hope to never have to read it again. The next prompt is the favorite book you read during readathon. This one, which I read during the stay at home reading rush this year. I didn't have anything for this, so I just had to go with this again. I mean, obviously I'm not going to talk about it too long because I'm probably boring you to death, but read it. And the last question, which is my favorite, an underrated book you wish more people would read. Now, I'm going to have to bring back this. I don't think it's necessarily underrated, but I need more fan art for it. I need merch. <laughs> like Cruel Prince gets merch left and right and so many other crap books get merch and fan art. I need as much fan art for this as the Cruel Prince is getting. Please, please draw Vasya and Morozko. Please, <laughs> just send me fan art. Send me merch, please, I need it. And also this one, I need fan art. I need the merch. I need this book to be more popular. I need more people to talk about it because it's the greatest. I love it so much. <laughs> In case you can't see The Last Name Sorrow by Kristen Cicerelli. Please read it. Please. Just like Winter Night. I need more merch. I need more fan art. I need more people to be invested in this as much as I am so I can enjoy with other people. I feel like I have no one to talk to about this. No one. And the last one is obviously this, which I don't think is underrated. I definitely don't think it's underrated. But I think a lot of people don't realize how incredible it is. Last book aside, this series is incredible. He is incredible, an incredible author who's actually European. He's Polish, which is not very often that it is so popular, but I think more people need to realize how good the books are. I feel like no one actually reads the books anymore. I definitely don't think it's underrated. It's very popular. I mean, it launched series and a lot of video games but more people need to talk about it so I can enjoy talking to it to other people about it so that is basically it for the racing to read book tag my lighting is still not cooperating and I will let you enjoy the rest of this vlog as a normal vlog I took a lot of your time with this tag so I am sorry I hope you enjoyed it I just didn't want to edit an extra video when I'm already editing every night so this is it. I am rambling. Yes. Hi. Hello. I am walking into the sunlight. I'm going to go make myself lunch. It's a bit late, so maybe not like an early dinner. Maybe we're going to skip lunch today. And then I am going to read in the other room because that's rebellious. When your parents are out of the house, you can just read in their room. I mean, living room but also their room but that's it I'm gonna read one of the horror stories and then hopefully we're gonna fulfill actually more than one prompt today so I can casually just finish the gospel of Loki without being stressed about the prompts so let's go make the food first sliced up some tempeh I'm gonna quickly <laughs> I almost said burn it I mean not burn it toast it hopefully then I'm gonna make myself soup this is my favorite. I absolutely love it so much. And then we're going to hopefully make a smoothie. Ice cream. I mean, technically ice cream because I'm going to put it in the mold, but a smoothie. So today it's going to be very nice if the headache finally goes away. 
Well, the raspberries are defrosting. We have our setup, and the beautiful soup is done. And this is done. Let's just dribble on some soy sauce generously because we need it to soak. There. Welcome to vegetarian heaven, basically. Metal straw. I'm actually going to use the straight one now. I've been using the curved one for weeks, so this is where we're going to put the ice cream. I am so excited. <laughs> I love being home alone because then I basically get the kitchen to myself and I can do whatever the hell I want. So, let's enjoy this. <laughs> I'm going to read my first gothic story now, or Penny Dreadful, because I don't know if it's gothic or Victorian anymore. <laughs> But the first story, anyway, which is going to be The Adventure of the German Student by Washington Irving. I might read another one because these are ridiculously short, so I will come back and tell you my thoughts very soon, probably, because obviously this is going to be very quick to read. So, reading for a literal minute, and I already have something to say. <laughs> this is so cool. I mean, if this is going to be what I think it's going to be, but I'm going to actually read to you a little bit of a little bit of this. It's very short, so not too much, but <clears throat> this is a quote that I was like, I love this already. Sometimes he spent hours together in the great libraries of Paris, those catacombs of departed authors, rummaging among their hordes of dusty and obsolete works in a quest for food for his un unhealthy appetite. He was, in a manner, a literary ghoul, feeding in the carnal house of decayed literature i'm not sure if i read this correctly obviously english is my first language so sometimes with these older works i have questions but that was so cool so basically he was he like needed to eat up eat books obviously read a lot that's not literally eat and i can relate i feel like that's literally food for my mind all the time and i can't live without it so i mean honestly gottfried you and I are definitely soulmates right now. Okay, I'm done. And this was the weirdest thing I've ever read. I mean, not the weirdest, but also very, very weird. It's like a very short story. It's, it has a beginning. It has a clear end. And it's a little bit freaky, which I guess was the point of these Penny Dreadfuls. Because I think they were published in the newspapers. And they were supposed to be short, creepy stories for the gothic Victorian era. And it was cool. I actually enjoyed it. <laughs> She was like, you want to be with me forever? All right, forever it is. <laughs> Interesting, actually. It was pretty cool. It was fun to read and it was quick, so... Can't say that I didn't enjoy it. In it was just interesting. This is so weird. <laughs> Definitely going to read a couple more of those. Just This is just the first one that I'm going to use for the challenges. Then when I'm done with the challenges, I can actually read for pleasure. That's the hope, at least, because challenges always kind of give me pressure and make me read less so I wanted to get them out of the way and this was so cool I'm happy that I bought this book I have a lot of these short stories and they're pretty cool so I definitely do recommend this so the adventures of the German student it's eight pages so we are going to read because I'm gonna read another one Sonny Bean the man-eater by Charles Whitehead I mean it's gonna be about cannibalism isn't it we can already tell so I'll check back in like five minutes. It was cannibals, all right. <sighs> a little bit gross, clearly. But thankfully it was short enough that you don't have to <laughs> actually suffer through an entire book of this. It was gross, but it was also kind of fun. It's just like there's these cannibals, these cannibals in Scotland. It's a whole family of them. <laughs> I wouldn't really recommend this because it's a little bit gross, but it was actually kind of fun to read. <laughs> because it has a sort of humorous air about it, even though this topic is obviously disgusting. But, I, I don't know, I can't stop laughing at this one that I'm going to stop updating because I feel like this vlog will be way too long and it's going to be uploading for like six hours. I'm going to read The Diary of a Madman by Guy de Maupassant, which is going to be for the, <laughs> obviously. Then I think I'm going to cover all the prompts except for the... One with the birthstone color, but I'm gonna read a graphic novel for that anyway. So let's read this one. This is one that I actually learned about in school. This guy, so I do know him. I have no idea what this is about, and it's 
really short. So let's see what the madman has to say. Like they have been progressing in horror and even though they're really, really short, this one was probably the creepiest that I read today. I don't know why, I just felt a little bit uncomfortable while reading it, which I never feel while reading books. <laughs> but I would recommend this one if you have the stomach for it. <laughs> Definitely. Trigger warning for like, obviously murder of animals and people and insanity, but <laughs> it's very short and it's really good. <laughs> Like, for what it is, it's really, really good, and it really is the Diary of a Madman, so that's exactly what you get, and it's... He has a point. Like, the one thing he writes, I absolutely agree with it, and it's creepy to see, and there's so many people like this. Where, like, I mean, we re revel murder, so why shouldn't I do it? I mean, definitely read it if you have the guts for it. It's short, it's very quick, and it's... <laughs> It is something, I gotta say, it is something. Now all I have to do is complete the birthstone one and participate in a Twitter sprint, which I'm gonna go check out if there is one soon so I can do that. And then we are done with the reading rush. And I have all the badges except for Make a Bookstagram because I didn't really feel like doing that one and the book club one. So this is actually a pretty successful reading rush. As soon as I read a bunch of short stories, I always feel a bit more motivated. I don't know, I'm really not the type to read a lot of big books for readathons because it really makes me stressed and then I sort of get into a slump about reading and this is supposed to be fun. So this way I complete all the challenges, I read a lot of short fun books that I wouldn't have read otherwise and all in all I consider this a success. Perfect. There is a reading sprint happening in like five minutes so I'm gonna go get my read quickly so I can check off that badge as well and the last prompt so let's go and actually hopefully have fun ready to dive back into a childhood childhood favorite this is exciting honestly icons i wish i had such a transformation when i was 14. i love the art style in these though by the way these are italian i think they are italian although they kind of take place in the u.s so it's very confusing and i'm reading the translation so it's a whole lot reading this loved it it really did bring back the nostalgia because i loved this so much when i was growing up so we finished this i'm actually gonna cross off the final challenge today when i read another volume and it's gonna be read over a thousand pages and then i'm done for 2020 i am completely done with the challenges i'm still gonna make the vlog tomorrow obviously for what i'm gonna read but i am officially done with the official <laughs> reading rush challenges so you're still getting a vlog tomorrow, but I'm going to close out this one now and hope to God that it's not like 30 minutes because I know I rambled a lot and I hope that it won't upload until 4 a.m. like last night because that was tedious. So I will see you tomorrow and I hope you've been having a good reading week and I wish you luck in completing the rest of your challenges. So see you tomorrow.